The White Helmets, also known as the Syrian Civil Defense, are an organization that has been used for propaganda against the Syrian government inside of the entire war that has been going on in the country. They are known to work with Al-Qaeda as their ambulatory service. They're known for producing propaganda, fake gas attacks, etc. But now it has been revealed that the founder of the organization is an ex-British mercenary called James Lemesserier. The Messerier's role in founding the White Helmets and propagating his mythology to a Western audience was exposed in 2015 thanks to the work of independent journalist Vanessa Bealey. Bailey notes that Le Messier's realization that humanitarian aid was more effective at maintaining war than an army that spurred his creation of the organization in order to maintain public support for another costly war in a country that is, in reality, posing little to no threat to mainland America or its allies. The White Helmets were founded in March 2013 by Le Messerer. He, like many officers in the British military, attended the Royal Military Academy, where he graduated at the top of his class, receiving the Queen's Medal. He later served in the British Army and operated in a variety of theaters. Most notably, Le Messerer served as intelligence coordinator for Pristina City in Kosovo soon after the NATO intervention that led to NATO being accused of war crimes for its targeting of thousands of civilians in media. Prior to his founding of the White Helmets, Le Messerier served as vice president for the special projects at the Olive Group, a private mercenary organization that has since merged with Blackwater Academy into what is now known as Constellus Holdings. Then in 2008, Le Messerier left the Olive Group after he was appointed to the position of principal at Good Harbor Counseling chaired by Richard A. Clark, a veteran of the U.S. National Security Establishment and counterterrorism czar under the Bush and Clinton administrations. Now, this is the information that the U.S. and the U.K. and the rest of the imperialist countries don't want you to have. They don't want you to know that they're working with al-Qaeda uh, very openly. They don't want you to know the roots of the White Helmets, who created them for these, this propaganda purpose. And uh, Vanessa Billy has done a tremendous work here in exposing this man and exposing the uh, motivations and the desires that he has and the plans that he had carried out in order to create the White Helmets to forward the purpose of imperialist aggression. Le Messerier, for his part, has apparently become tired of the limelight, perhaps as a result of the thorough debunking of the terrorist-linked organization he fostered. Though still listed as an employee of Good Harbor, Le Messerier has removed himself from the site of Mayday Rescue, a White Helmets-linked organization he founded, and all mention of him has been erased from the White Helmets website. With all of the information I've given here, there is still a great deal more in the source that I give in the description. It's very important that people understand where the White Helmets came from in order to understand why it is that they do the things that they do. Raising consciousness, raising general awareness of the criminal activities of the White Helmets and acknowledging that they are merely propaganda puppets that are used to justify imperialist aggression on Syria is extremely important and something that needs to be done in order to forward the cause of ending the U.S. and U.K. or NATO generally backed war against Syria. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.